Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and in today's video, we will be going over how to make a group and a group rank only door in Roblox Studio. Now in this tutorial, you have two options on how you can do this. You can have it so if a player is in a specific group, they will gain access no matter their rank. But then I will also show you how to make it so the player needs to have a specific rank in the group to gain access. So for starters, you want to make sure your explorer and properties are enabled. If your explorer and properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on view and enable explorer and properties and they should show up somewhere over your screen. So now that we've got our explorer and properties all set up, I'm going to go and create our part. So for this tutorial, we're going to be doing this as a door format and as mentioned in the intro. And how this is going to basically work is if the player is in a specific group, then they're going to, this door is then going to disappear. If not, then this door is going to stay there. Now, how this would usually work in games would be you could, for example, have a staff only area. That in this sort of situation, a staff only area, you would use system two because they need to have a specific rank, but that's up to you. You can decide on how you can do that. But anyway, usually this would be cutting off a different part of the map. So you'd usually maybe have another wall here and then this would be your main door and this is would be your main access point. So now that we've gone and created your main part, which is gonna be used for the door, we're gonna to wanna to go and rename it to something else. So I'm gonna go and rename this to group door, just like that, because we're gonna to need to put that inside of the script. Now with your part, you're gonna also wanna make sure to go and anchor it so that a player can't just push the door over because then it's not really serving a purpose if the player can just push the door through and then walk through. So we wanna make sure our part is anchored. Now obviously you go customize your door how you want it. I'm gonna leave it just like that because it doesn't really matter for demonstrations. Anyway, I'm gonna head over to our starter player, click on the starter player down here, and then we're gonna to go to our starter player scripts, click on the plus button and insert a local script. So now that you've inserted a local script inside of your starter player scripts, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. Now you can see this is an extremely very basic simple script, I mean there's only 14 lines, um, but I'm going to quickly go over the code here so you can kind of get a little bit of a better understanding, and also show you the areas that you need to actually go and change accordingly. So here on line one, it goes local player equals game.players.local player. That is identifying our local player. We are the local player simply because this is a client sided script. A client sided script basically means it's a, um, it's your own script. It's not gonna affect the entire server. Hence why we're identifying our player. But anyway, that identifies our player. Line two, it goes local group ID. Now this is now where you wanna go and put your special group ID. So every in every single system, you will need to have a specific group which the player must um, be in to access that specific area or access through that door, for example. So you need to go and put in your group ID here. Now, if you don't know much about Roblox groups, what you wanna to do to get your group ID is you wanna head over here to the main Roblox page and click on groups and then that will show up all your groups. Now, depending on what group you want the player to be a part of to be able to gain access to the door will depend on you. Obviously, each person is going to be different. But I mean, for this example, we're gonna be using this Floppy Fish Studios group developed by me. Now, to get your code for the Floppy Fish Studios or your Roblox group, which we're gonna to need to take back to the local script inside of our game, you wanna go and take it out of the main screen. So we wanna to go to our main area here, go to the top bar, and then we wanna grab the bunch of numbers that are in between the slashes between the groups and then whatever your group name is actually called. You wanna go and grab that bunch of numbers. We wanna go and copy that, either right click um, copy or just control C. And then you wanna go back to Roblox Studio and paste that in. So now that we're back inside Roblox Studio, we wanna head over here to line two where it goes local group ID equals, and then we wanna replace this ID with whatever your group ID which the player needs to be into to be able to gain access to the specific door. So the group that the player is going to need to be a member of. You wanna go and replace that with that ID right in here. Then on line three, we go and identify our local door, which our local door is gonna be the door that we created earlier that is going to be opening if the player is a part of that group. So local door equals game.workspace, wait for child, your part. So you wanna go and change your part to whatever your door is called. So remember we renamed our door, which the player is gonna be walking through to group door. So I'm gonna go and type it in just like that. If you went and ch um, named it to uh, Tom and Jerry, then you're gonna go and type in Tom and Jerry, for example. But for this tutorial, our one is called group door. So you go and name that accordingly. Then here on line five, it goes local function, check player. This is creating a local function, which is eventually called later down there. So whenever that is called, then 
this is what happens inside of it. So it goes while true do, if player is in group, group ID then. So while true do, while the script is true, then it is going to be doing this. So if player, remember our player that we mentioned up there, is in the group, the group ID. So if the player is in the group, the specific group ID, which we mentioned there, then the door is going to be destroyed. And now what you can do, you can go and change it so that it just uh, removes this, removes the transparency of the door. You can, or, and also disables the can collide. You can do that, but the best for the best guaranteed result to make sure that the door is not there when the player joins in is to simply go and destroy it. And what it means by destroying is it is basically gonna delete it from the player's game so that there simply is no door when the player goes and loads in. And once that's been done, this is basically, I've gone and added this here because what we're doing is we're constantly checking. So this script here is going to be constantly checking with Roblox to see if our specific player is in this specific group. So the reason why I do this is what some people may do is they may join into the game. They'll see, okay, I want to access this area, but I need to be in the Floppy Fish Studios um, Roblox group. Okay, let me quickly go and join that while I'm still in the game. So they go away, they quickly go onto the, uh, the browser, they join the group. Then, without them needing to leave the game, this is automatically go going to update. So it's going to be checking every one second to see if the player is in the group. If so, then it is going to destroy the doors. So, so without them having to leave, the door is going to be destroyed either way if Roblox, um, uh, uh, or if the script detects that the player is in the group so that the person doesn't have to leave. Because what tends to happen is a player may join the group, then they have to leave and rejoin. But when you're developing a game, you don't want the player to have to leave the game for any sort of circumstances. You want to keep them in the game. Then down here on line 14, it just checks the player. So this continues to run. So local function while true do, and every second this runs through. So now if I go and join into the game with this current script, I've gone and put my um, ID up there, yada, yada, yada. If I go and join into the, into the game now, this door will be destroyed simply because I'm the owner of that group and simply because I'm inside of that group. If it were a random player and um, they were just joining in for a random uh, experience or play around and all of that, then the door will not be there simply because they're most likely not going to be in the server. So what I'm going to do just to show you on how it works so you can see that our part that we created or our door earlier is nowhere to be seen. So what I'm going to go and do now is I'm going to go back here just to show you on how it actually does work and I'm just going to go and change up the group number. Hopefully that's a group there. Uh, and now I'm going to go and click on play. So because I'm not a part of this group because I just went and, gone, went and changed my game ID I, the likelihood of me being a part of that group is very unlikely. So this kind of goes to show that because I'm not in that group or that uh, other group, I'm then not able to gain access to that special area or get through the store. If you guys remember with my floppy fish um, uh, studios group, I was able to walk through and there was simply no part. But now because I'm in a, uh, I the system is checking to see if I'm in this specific group, then it is not necessarily going to update. Now what I'm going to go do is just to show you on how it works, I'm going to do a little bit more demonstrations here um, just to show you on how this also works here and how the system checks is you've got to keep in mind this is not instant. It does take some time for Roblox to process on your profile that you are a part of the group. So it's not a matter of, oh, okay, I'll go and join the group now and then I'm gonna, the door's gonna be destroyed. It may take up to about a minute for Roblox to actually fully register that you are a part of that group. So it, it's not a split second decision. It may take about a minute for the player to actually gain access once they've joined. So I'm gonna go and copy this ID here and I'm gonna go and find whichever group this is and then we're gonna do a little bit of a test to see when I join that group and when I actually am able to gain access here while in game. So I'm gonna go, I've gone and copied that now. I'm gonna go and join into the studio and then I'm gonna head over to our browser and see what group that is and see if it is actually a group. So I've gone and got that ID that we mentioned. Remember our one was 1422-8670. I've just gone and added a one on the end, just like that. So let's see, hopefully this is a Roblox group. And yes, it is. So this is Royals by Color X Corn, all righty. Um, so we've got this group here. As you guys can see, I'm not currently in the group. What I'm gonna go and do now is I'm gonna head over to our um, studio base plate. We've got our base plate over here. You can see I do not currently have access into the door. Now, because we've got the checking system, if I go and join into this group here now, and go click on join group, if I go and join into the group now, you'll be able to see that after a little bit of time and once the game has, uh, and once Roblox has fully registered that I am actually a part of the group, 
then, oh, there we go, we have it. It actually can happen quite quickly. And now that Roblox has registered that I am now a part of that group, I am now able to walk through the door. So that's enough with the main system here. We pretty much covered that quite nicely then. Thankfully, that was a very quick um, register by Roblox. Now, what we're going to be go going over here now next is actually how to make it so if a if you need to have a specific rank to gain access to that door. In Roblox groups, there are specific ranks. So I'm going to for this, I'm going to go back to my Roblox groups here. I'm going to go to my uh, Floppy Fish Studios, which we were discussing earlier. Yes, that's right. And I'm going to go and show you the roles area so you can kind of get a little bit of a better understanding on what I actually mean. So now that I'm here inside of my Roblox group, you've got to keep in mind I'm the main owner of the group, so I'm able to access all of this. I mean, for example, if you're wanting to do this on a, say, a quite a big popular game, then it is not going to work simply because you need to have access to see these specific ranks. But anyway, I'll explain what I mean here now. So you're able to see on the actual main role area here, we're currently on lead developer. This is where you can change all of the bits and bobs. And you're able to see the lead developer, basically the owner of the group, is rank 255. This basically means you can have 255 roles in a group and each one can have a rank. With the rank, the higher the rank number is, the more important they are and the higher they are on this list. So you're able to see here on the lead developer, it is rank 255. But then here on the developer, it's 254. So they're just, they're nearly as powerful as the lead developer, but they are still um, a, um, uh, what's the word this this they're just below the lead developer at 254. now the same thing exactly here with this tester they are rank two simply because they're not as important as a developer or lead developer when coming back to selecting what rank can access your area this is where it's going to have to come into play you need to choose on what your rank number is going to be and this is where you're going to come to get your rank number so I'm going to head back here over to the script. I'm going to go to our local script. And now what we're going to do, simply because there is not much change that needs to happen, is I'm just going to go and type it here. And if you want to follow along, you can happily follow along. This code will be down in the description. So if you don't want to type it out, you can also find it there. It's going to be called script two. But anyway, I'm going to go and type this in. So local required rank, just like that, equals. So this is going to be our required rank that the player needs to have. Um, so there you go. You can actually see Roblox's AI has kind of done it for us. Local required rank equals 254, but that's what not what we're wanting. So it's up to you now to choose what rank you want to gain. Uh, you what rank you want to have access to that area. So relating it back to our, um, our Roblox group, there you're able to see that the tester was rank. I think it was two. Uh, if you want it so that only uh, ranks above two and ranks equal and above two can play and uh, gain access to that door then you'd put two because that is going to be your required rank the player needs to have equal or above rank two to gain access to that door so what we want to do now is we want to head over here to if player is in group group id then so just after the group id we want to go and put a space and then we want to type in the following so if player is in group and group id and just like that and player get rank from group uh, uh, rank in group so not from group get rank in group group id so if we're getting the rank in the group of our group id and then we want to go like this and then we want to do greater ooh, uh, shift sorry greater equals required rank then so basically what happens here, just to explain it a little bit further, is if the player is in a group, the group ID, we're doing two different checks. So the, on the first system, we did one check, just making sure that the player is in the group. But now we've gone and added it, so it does a second check. So if player is in group, group ID, remember our first check, and player get rank in group is group ID. So we're getting going to the player and getting the rank that the player is currently on in the group ID. And if our group rank is equal or sorry is greater or equal to our required rank then the door will be destroyed so now it's up to you if you implement the following thing but this is basically just kind of stop the loop once this has taken place or you're going to receive an error message in your output so we want to make another line just below our door destroy and then we want to go and type in break just like that now basically what this does is it stops this loop prematurely. Now, once this break has been called or occurred once the door has been destroyed, nothing else will ever run again until the player joins back into the server. So 
that this never ever occurs because you've gone and broken the code simply because the door has now been destroyed and the script has done what it needs to have done. So anyway, that's enough about breaking. What we're gonna go and do now, we're gonna go and give it a test. So I've gone and got this group ID here now. So I, this is that uh, ID of that Royals group, I think it was, the, the group that was one digit higher than mine. Anyway, this is the Royals group. So our, uh, I've got no idea what their ranks are. So we're gonna use theirs as an example. Um, so I'm gonna go and do, if our rank, our required rank is gonna be plus 200, 254. Let's do it something like that because the likelihood of us being 200, rank 254 is going to be unlikely. So in this circumstance, that Royals person is going to be wanting just to have her main or her his or hers or whatever main rank level to access this area. So either, I don't know, the Kona or just themselves. So our required rank is 254. Now, because we are very unlikely to have rank 254, we, the door is likely to not be destroyed simply because we will not have rank 254. I'm gonna go and change the required rank to one simply because that is the pretty much the lowest rank you can be. And the likelihood of us being greater or equal to one is quite likely. So I'm gonna go and set the required rank to one to see how this works. So hopefully this works here and hopefully we are actually ranked somewhere around there. But anyway, if we go join in now, simply because I don't know much about this person's um, group in their ranks, I don't really know what will totally be there. But as you guys can see there, because we are now a member of the players group, we will then be able to gain access. But also simply because our rank is uh, greater or equal to one, we have been able to gain access to this door. But now just to show you again, if we had to do, go and set our required rank to 100 and we went and joined back in, we'll be able to see because our rank is likely not over 100 or equal to 100, the door will be there. And as you guys can see, the door is there and I'm not able to gain access. Now let's say someone had to join into the game. Let's say, for example, the owner of that Royals um, group had to join in and they had to um, uh, join into the game and they're in the group and they got the required rank. Their door will open, but simply because I'm not in the group and I don't have the required rank, I will not be able to walk through the door, even though the owner is in the game. So the owner joins into the game, they have the required rank, yada, yada, yada. They're able to walk through the door. But just because they have the required rank in the, in the group and all of that, it will not open the door for me. Only if I have the required rank and I'm in the group, will I be able to gain access through that door. And just like that, you've gone and created yourself your very own group only, rank only door. If you guys are a little bit lost and you're needing a little bit of assistance, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we can happily help you out. But in the way guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway guys, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.